Welcome to the Secrets of Buenos Aires channel. I'm Glenn and in this video I will tell you all the things you need to know when traveling to the capital city of Argentina. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. I appreciate it a lot. Buenos Aires, the capital of Argentina, is the largest city in the country, with over 50 million people. The city is a major cultural center, with many museums, art galleries and historic buildings. Buenos Aires welcomes every year over more than 3 million tourists to see the most famous landmarks. Buenos Aires is the home of tango, a partner dance that goes back to the 1880s and started around Rio de la Plata. Nowadays there are many famous tango venues in town, more later in this video. In this Buenos Aires guide I will talk about the things to do in the city but also ideas for planning your trip to Buenos Aires, such as the best time to visit, the neighborhoods, where to stay and much more. Buenos Aires can charm everybody, from cloudy colder days up to the hot days in summer. In September and October Buenos Aires starts to become warmer again as spring starts too. The blossoms of the jacaranda tree and other flowers bring a nice fresh smell in the city. It's a perfect moment to discover the city as it's not too hot and perfect to walk around. On top of that, you will avoid big crowds because summer vacation starts a couple of months later. November is perfect if you want to enjoy the pre-summer vibe and spend the evenings outdoors, on the streets or parks. December and January are the hottest months in Buenos Aires. Temperatures are at their highest. Don't forget to wear sun protector. Also, from December till March, it is high season in the city. Many tourists arrive in Argentina on its way to discover the country. February and March are just perfect again. The lower temperatures are making it great again to walk around and bike around. If you are on a budget, then the best time to visit Buenos Aires is from April to August. Buenos Aires has two international airports. The major international airport calls Ezeiza and is located 50 kilometers outside the capital city. The chances are high that you will arrive at this airport. A smaller airport, but they are not for less busy, Jorge Newberry, or also called Aeroparque. It's located on the riverbanks of Rio de la Plata. Most of the domestic flights land and depart there. Once you arrived at the Ezeiza airport, there are a few different ways to get to the city center of Buenos Aires. First of all, there are no metro or train lines from the airports to Buenos Aires. If you want to get quickly into the city center, it's best to take an airport transfer. This can be a private airport transfer or a taxi. It brings you to the city in a 15 minutes around, without any traffic. If you're on a budget, you can take the public bus or a shuttle bus that runs one time per hour and brings you to the old port of Buenos Aires, Puerto Madero. Argentina is home of the Argentine Peso. It is known to take cash with you and exchange it in Buenos Aires city. There are many exchange rates in the country and also one especially for tourists. However, there are a few things you need to know and look out for. Because of that complicated topic of money exchange in Argentina, I made separate videos about it. Be sure to check them out and get all the important information. The area of Buenos Aires is twice the size of Paris. Get the most out of the history of Buenos Aires in San Telmo or Montserrat, both the heart of the city and where Buenos Aires and Argentina are founded. San Telmo stands out for its Mercado de San Telmo and Sunday Market. La Boca is the home of Tango and the Boca Junior Football Club. Its colorful houses going back to the foundation of the city and the history about the immigrants arriving in Argentina. For an area full of bars and club with great restaurants, then for sure check out Palermo. Get your morning coffee at one of the many bars and stay up late in the best restaurants. And afterwards visit one of the clubs. Recoleta is another neighborhood in Buenos Aires that has one of the most famous attractions. Cementario de la Recoleta, the resting place of Evita. More on the edge of the city, you find Puerto Madero. Buenos Aires old port, but now an open spacious neighborhood on the flanks of Rio de la Plata. A more green area to walk around and quickly getting into the city. The two neighborhoods that stand out as the best place to stay, that are San Telmo and Palermo. 
It's central located and it's in the heart of the city. If you're looking to stay in the most historic part in the city, then San Telmo is a neighborhood for you. Get a full experience by visiting the Mercado San Telmo and watch some live tango on Plaza Dorejo. You're just 10 minutes walk away from the presidential palace and the most famous landmark, Dobelisco. Another great neighborhood is Palermo. This area is full of bars and restaurants. The perfect neighborhood to end your day and stay busy till the morning. As well, it's close to Buenos Aires' most popular museums. Puerta Madero is one of the most popular choices. Get great views over the city in one of the tallest buildings in town. Stroll around in the evening on the docks or get a drink at one of the many bars located around the water. The best way to discover Buenos Aires is by foot. Walk around in Buenos Aires and explore all the neighborhoods with all its museums and attractions. Get more into the local atmosphere and find hidden gems on your way. Buenos Aires has many buses driving around in the city. The bus can bring you almost at every corner in town. You can also take the metro, which is a cheap and comfortable way to get from point A to B. The Sube card can be used to pay all public transport options. The city has also two hop-on hop-off bus lines, operating every day from morning till the evening and passing at the most important places in Buenos Aires. Make a great photo from the upper deck of the bus. Like in any other city, Buenos Aires has many taxis driving around. You can recognize them by their black and yellow color. A quick and efficient way to get hassle-free around in the city. There are thousands of taxis driving around. You will definitely see one driving. There's always something for everyone and for any budget. Start the day with a media luna and a coffee. A traditional Argentine breakfast. You can get it almost at any bar in town. A perfect way to start your day. And stop later in the city for an empanada. A salty dough with many filling options, such as ham and cheese or meat. Or try the Argentinian style pizza with a mountain of cheese on it. Don't forget to try a typical Argentine barbecue or parrilla. The true Argentinian taste combined with prize winning wines from the country. Or try the locro if you're in one of the holidays in Argentina a traditional dish made on special days. There are so many things to see in the city. I help you to get a good start. There are of course some attractions you cannot miss on your trip in Buenos Aires. Starting with El Caminito in La Boca. Enjoy the colorful houses in Caminito and see how local painters bring their area to life on a white canvas. The cemetery of Recoleta is called one of the most beautiful cemeteries in the world with the grace of Evita Perón, Nobel Prize winners and the daughter of Napoleon. A must thing to do in Buenos Aires is Feria de San Telmo on Sunday. San Telmo is the smallest neighborhood in Buenos Aires and hosts every Sunday an antique market. The markets start from Avenida San Juan to Plaza de Mayo. Wander around between all the small trinkets and maybe you find historical items. Did you know that Buenos Aires has the highest number of bookstores per capita? El Ateneo bookstore wasn't always a bookstore. Before it was a marvelous theater with thousand seats. El Ateneo is in the second place of the most beautiful bookstores in the world. And don't miss a tango show when you're in Buenos Aires. A dance from the 19th century and it's world famous. See it in life in one of the many tango venues in town. A perfect evening activity to do. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss the newest videos. You can always get the latest info and travel tips on secretsofbonazares.com and get your tango tickets at the best price on the website. I hope to welcome you soon in Buenos Aires and don't hesitate to contact me. Ciao!